that shall heal the sick. Healing comes from God alone. Jesus Christ did not profess to be a healer. He said he denied being a healer. He said it's not me that doeth the worst, it's my Father that will offend me, he doeth the worst. He said, I can do nothing in myself, but what I see my Father doing, that doeth the Son likewise. Is that right? St. John 5, 19. He said, I only do what my Father shows me to do. Then when Philip went and found Nathaniel and brought him up there, I imagine the Father showed him right there what was going to happen. Don't you believe that? And he said to Philip, he said, Behold, the Israelites, to whom there is no God. He said, Wouldn't you know me, Rabbi? He said, Before Philip called you when you were under the tree, I saw you. Now, the, I believe that ever, how many people have been in the meeting before? Let's see your hand. That's good. Now, how many has not been in the meeting before? Let's see your hand. How many is stranger? God bless you all. Quite a number has never been in the meeting before. Now, I want to ask you people that have not been in the meeting before. If Jesus of Nazareth was standing here to this woman, why, as far as healing her, he'd tell her, I did that when I died for you. She'd have to accept it. Because all Christian believers believe that. Sir, there's nothing I could do to the woman to help her. Not a thing. First thing, the initial way and the best way is believe it by the Word of God. The next thing, there may be something in a woman's life. The reason she can't get an eagle. And friend, someone has said to me, said, Brother Brandon, Brother Roberts prayed for 500 people while you're praying for one. Well, that's right. But Brother Roberts is doing what God told him to do, and I'm doing what God told me to do. We just have to see. We're both working for God. But look, ladies, if a person has got unconfessed sin and something in their heart, you can pray to them all night long, and it'll never do no good. That demon will hold right there. Or if that person is supposed to do something ridiculous, and God put that disease on them to bring them to the reconciliation or the correction, you just can't do it. That's all. And then what if he did do it, and God gave a man the authority to take that sickness off there, and would take it off when God put it on him for a purpose? Or if God didn't cut it on him, he let the devil do it. God doesn't make people sick. Sometimes he permits the devil to do it, but God couldn't do it himself. Because he's mercy. Can't you see mercy and death? He's life or death one. And he's life. Through Satan comes death. Now, I trust to God that God will help and will help tonight to understand. And anyone knows that vision is what makes me real weary. And it's another dimension that we go into. Now, vision doesn't come. It isn't something you ask God for. It's something God gives by sovereign grace. Uh, this has never come to me. When I was a little, the first thing I could remember was seeing a vision. I was over 18 months old. He told me where I'd live, what town I'd be in. I was hundreds and hundreds of miles from it. Never thought anything about being in that city, but I'd live there. There's a little boy, he told me what would happen in the future. And everything that he's ever said, and I'll take it here to this meeting. And I've been here many, many times, three or four times in New York, and people here from across the nation. You've never seen one time that it ever failed to be just exactly what he said. If that's right, all that knows me, raise up your hand. If yeah, that's true. Now to the newcomers, you see what I mean? Now it's something to help the woman. Something to find out what is wrong with her. And maybe that would help her. If finding out what was wrong would help her, then that would boost up her faith to believe the Lord Jesus. All understand that? Now let's all kind of pray together. Now, Father, we pray that you will give us the marvelous outpouring of your blessing that this audience tonight might see and understand. Father, we do not want this to look like some stage show that's on some of the people's minds. But we want it, Father, to be to your glory, and thou knowest all things. And I pray that you will grant it while we ask these blessings in the name of thy Son, the Lord Jesus. Now, while you were standing there, and I was making prayer for you, something happened. You know, is that right? Is that right? Your heart's double at you. You can go on. The 
woman standing present when the Holy Spirit dropped down, she realized what happened at that time. Would you turn to the now I feel a witness coming from the back of the building and thinks I'm reading a woman's mind. I am not. I'm not reading the mind. Here, the only thing I know this is a man. Come here, sir. Put your hand over on my shoulder. Or that's all right right here. Do you believe me to be the servant of the Lord? I've never seen you as far as the Lord never looks in the face. And to read a mind, I've had to look at you. You know that. But I'm looking out here. If the Holy Spirit will reveal to me as I look over this audience and will tell me the great Father above, Will by his angel witness to me what your trouble is? Will you accept Jesus as if you will? May he grant it to me, my brother. Now, right here in front of me, I see a table. It has food on it. This man's a moving bag. He has something. That's right. You're healed, brother. Thank you. God bless you. Going to the Hallelujah. You have a trouble, too? Yes. Cause you when you're laying down a fluttering yes. sensation. Rocky, yes. then sometimes I see you get the place where you have to hold or something like that. Feels like it's just coming out. Yes. Ever since you've been a boy, you've been a little nervous too. Yes. You were scared once when you was a boy by a dog. And when that that caused you to be nervous all of your life. And that heart condition is a blockage in your heart which is called the gas in your stomach go up through the tube and make it flutter. It's worse when you're laying down. That's right. You're healed now. Are you believing, my sister, yes. with all your heart? No. You believe me to be his servant? Yes. If God will reveal to me what is your trouble, you will accept it with all your heart. Well, that sickness has left you. The arthritis. You've had all your life. You're healed. You can go on your own. You're faithful. All right, would you come later? What do you think, sister? God bless you. Your kidney trouble left you. You're on your road now to be well. God bless you. You go on your road to be well. You come, lady. You believe me, sister? You have a skin eruption, don't you? There's something wrong with the skin. Yes, you do. You were healed then. Your faith saved you. The lady said, You know, the black dress on the fifth line front. You were sitting there praying. In your heart, you were asking for help, wasn't you? If that's right, raise up your hand. Now, God has heard your prayer. You can go home and be well. Jesus Christ has made you well. God tells you to go into your supper, but you think there's some trouble with that? Is that? You were telling your lady friend there was a spinal trouble, the same condition, wasn't she? And that made your heart jump. You were healed too of your spinal trouble. Stand up and walk to your feet. Move your back back and forth like this now. You're absolutely healed. The courage has gone out here perfectly on your lady friend. Been on your attention, then coming into menopause, a change of life. It's called to have a condition in your stomach that you can't eat because foods and things sour and ferment in your stomach causes disorders. Isn't that right? You go home and eat your stuff at home. Jesus Christ will take you away. Have faith in God. Do you believe still? You, you know, insulin is a wonderful thing, but it's how I'm going there. 
You accept your blood for execution now through Jesus Christ. God, I pray that you will grant it to her this night. In the name of thy Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you, sister. Go rejoice now and thank him, the Lord Jesus. Amen. The Lord be with you, people. Now, you, I am sincere. I believe in the Lord Jesus. I'm a Christian. I believe him with all my heart, with all my soul, and all my mind. Now, I want you to believe. Are you believing, lady, with your hand up there with all your heart sitting right there? Do you believe that as many conditions will lead you, you'll be made well if you believe with all your heart? Do you do it? Believe it, he'll make you well? Amen. You can have your healing. The Lord bless you. A little lady sitting right behind you with her, with her hand up like this. She's suffering with a flea bite. She believes it. That's right, lady. That's what you got. Yes, sir, I know that beyond a doubt. I heard the doctor tell you so. That's right. You believe you're healed now? You accept it with all your heart? The lady with the flea bite, you accept your healing now? Stand up and accept Jesus Christ and it'll leave you. The doctor is the The lady putting on her glasses and tuck it off, waving your hand at me. God bless you, lady. You believe that you'll get healed too? You got a liver trouble. That's right. You believe that Christ heals you now? Stand up on your feet and accept Jesus as your healer. And that deliver trouble and call by the trouble of leaving you. God bless you. Go on your room and rejoice and be happy. Amen. Oh, the audience. That's great. Life seems to be severed over this audience. I see a lady sitting in front of me here. She's going back, back, back. There's something another, or it's a man sitting next to her. A light seems to be hanging over the, or he's a, he's probably been in the prayer line. He had, but the lady sitting there has a hay fever. She's been bothered with it for long years. I see her as a young woman, old as a gold, as a young woman having long hair and was bald all in her toes. That's right, lady, sitting right there. You've had that for at least 20 years, hey? You're going home tonight. Do you believe you'll be over when you get there? Do you accept your healing? Christ, the Son of God, make it Lord. Have faith in God. Only believe, only believe all things are possible. I see the light of God, you know the woman sitting right here. Right here, God, the woman sitting right here. She's got diabetes. You believe the Lord Jesus is going to make you well tonight, lady? Sitting looking right at me there with a green dress on the lady. Sitting right in there. Yes, you, sister. You believe with all your heart that Jesus Christ is going to heal you tonight? Stand up on your feet, man. Accept your healing now. Lady, you're a humble woman. Don't have much to say. But the Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ is busy tonight. And your faith is full of virtue from His divine being. And your healing in the name of the Lord Jesus. God bless you for home and happy, rejoicing, believing with all your heart.
I am your brother, and I'm telling you the truth. The Holy Spirit is moving over this building and settling around. A wall of faith begins to move out. Little lady sitting there looking at me. You believe God is going to that rubbish you got? You believe God is going to make you well? All right, stand up on this. You're a baby, don't you, man? Right behind over that part of the you believe that God will use you? Second eye back there, you believe that God will use you, sir? And up, your face may be a fool. Be happy. Oh, God, be merciful. What will it be when our master comes? What will we find? Participation. Come here. You believe with all your heart? You believe that you're in his presence now? We are strangers to each other. I have never seen you in my life. We're a total stranger. You're suffering with a, a body disorder. It was caused from injury. You've got a skin condition. You're real nervous. Your name is Helen. They said C E C I N Station. You live at number 17 Marcy Street, Bloomfield. Is that right? The home you're about. Now be reverent, everyone. You don't know how upset I love you all. And I'm here only trying to represent the Lord Jesus when he raised from the dead. He was standing here. The whole thing is just yielding to the Holy Spirit. Be reverent. He's here to bless you, to heal you. These things are only done for God's glory to make you well because you believe on his Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. You remember, it's not me. I say with my hand on my Bible over my heart, it is not me. All praise to the Lord Jesus. He's the one who's raised the dead. He's here tonight. Now, excuse me, sometimes actually moving over my face. My hands are so numb, I can hardly tell when I touch anything. If you only had it only once, you'd know what that's talking about. How do you do? <clears throat> I suppose we're strangers one to another. We do not know one another, but there's somebody here in our presence who knows both of us. You're aware of that? Ladies, turn it dark around you. And I see you in a, an institution. You've been, you've come from a, uh, an institution. You've been in a, a the middle institution for a nervous condition of subsection. You've tried hard, a devil's been fighting at you. You've tried to commit suicide several times. you tried, and you've said it in your mind, you've got made up in your mind, if you didn't get to this platform or be prayed for in this meeting, you're going to commit suicide. you said it in your heart. But God in His grace has brought you here. It's a time for your healing. you got a husband in his name, and they call him Al. Al Smith is his name. Go to your husband as a well woman. Come here just a minute. Thou devil has found this poor woman. Come out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. You need her. going to lead the glory of God. You need her. And God believe with all your heart. Good evening, sir. Do you believe me to be his servant? My brother, you realize that you're standing in his presence. It's not your brother, it's uh, your Savior. 
and you won't wear down that it's healing is on you like you've never had before. If that's true, raise up your hand. No one can stand in his presence here and not know that that's true at this time, brother. When the whole around you is turning light, your trouble is in your nose, and you're worried about someone. It's a sister, and she's in a middle institution, and you're standing here for her deliverance. Almighty God, as the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I'll lay hands upon him for him and his love, and I'll leave you the devil that stand on the name, come out in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, my friend, go and be made well. Have faith in God. Believe with all your heart. It's all hazy around here. How did you, lady? You believe me to be his servant? You believe with all your heart that Almighty God has raised up his Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, and these things that you see done is the same Lord Jesus? You believe he's the same one here right in your presence now in my presence that talked to the woman at the well? He knew her whole life. There's nothing could be hid from her. And if he would anoint me with his presence and his spirit, your life would be like a book to me, as he would reveal it. But I cannot do it except the Father shows me first. You believe that? You're not from this country. You're from a country where they got palm trees. Betty. Broadwell is your name. You live at 2214 Beverly Street, Los Angeles, California. You are in serious need. It's a liver trouble, and it's a cancer on the liver. And you've got a friend that you're, you're interested in. And do you believe that she's going to be healed? She has a heart trouble. Myrtle, and she got, she's got internal trouble. And her name is Myrtle. And you're going to her for you to be well and her to be well too. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I rebuke the devil that this woman will be delivered through Jesus Christ. How do you do? You believe with all your heart that you're standing in his presence, not your brother, but his presence, sister. A perfect as you stand Spanish are you and me uh, uh, Irish it says Jesus and the woman come here.
It leads me to be his servant. You actually speak Norwegian. You got a stomach trouble. Now I see something marking up one, two, three, four, five, six operations you've had. Jesus Christ heals you there, all glory to the name of the Lord Jesus. Be made well. Stand to your feet, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, and be made well. Almighty God, I rebuke every devil. Come out of the people, Satan, in Jesus' name.